Hi Altrincham, how are you doing? Welcome along to another Wednesday. I'm subjecting you to yet another Wednesday on my own. Uh, you can catch up with Chris tomorrow. I um, understand that Chris will be doing his walk around for you around Altrincham tomorrow. Usually on a Tuesday, but our Tuesdays have been quite busy recently. So Chris's walk around this week will be on a Thursday. Um, I've had a few posts on the page tonight. I think you've got an idea of what we're uh, what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be talking about for a little while. This may or may not drag on. Who knows? We'll we'll just suck it and see and see what happens. But well, thank you for joining us. So then, what uh, I wanted to do tonight was. Uh, Last Wednesday, I spoke a little bit about uh, the real Andy, what's been going on for the real Andy. Uh, I had some quite encouraging comments, uh, public and private, on the back of that. So thank you for the support with that. It's not been a, a very good time. I know uh, a lot of people um, suffer the same sort of thing. We, we may come back to that at some other point because I feel quite strongly about it. It's very misunderstood at times. But maybe that's for another day, because today um, I'm a bit of a moaner. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm getting funny looks from my producer over here, who obviously agrees with me. I'm uh, a bit of a moaner. Okay. Um, okay? <laughs> so uh, now I'm getting on a little bit. I tend to grumble and groan. So today I'm just going to have a little bit of a moan myself about Altrincham and the stuff I do and don't like at Altrincham. First of all... Um, one thing that uh, I didn't like this week was that mess round Goose Green. Uh, you probably saw the pictures of um, the flats at the back of Goose Green where I'm not sure which private company it was that was responsible for emptying those bins, but whoever it was, they failed. Uh, we contacted Amy about it. I'll, I'll tell you what we, we asked them. We, we said, as an Altrincham community news organisation, we've seen a significant increase in stories, pics and comments sent to us via Twitter and Facebook, highlighting failures by Amy PLC regarding waste management. These include, but are not limited to, regular missed residential collections and on site overflowing bins in the town centre. We invite you to provide us with a short statement addressing these issues. Now, I know Amy weren't particularly responsible for the ones at Goose Green, but... Uh, on the whole, we, we've seen a lot of complaints about Amy recently. Uh, they did get back to us, uh, weren't very helpful. They've just um, suggested that we contact their press office. Why? I don't know. It seems that we can't get hold of the original Amy feed on Twitter anymore, and we can only get hold of uh, Amy support, who, funnily enough, when I did contact them, their Twitter feed hadn't been active first three days. So I doubt very much that Amy themselves said uh, there's the 805 out of Altrincham, we've got to do something about this. Uh, I doubt very much that Amy was so efficient that they didn't get any complaints in those three days. But I noticed on Twitter tonight that uh, there's a new picture up there and it's all looking nice and sparkly. And there's the one going the other way. It's all looking nice and sparkly around there at Goose Green now, so let's hope that it stays like that. Okie dokie. So, what we're going to have a whinge about. I want to have a little bit of a whinge about some things that bother me in general. Uh, if you've seen my personal Twitter feed, you'll know that one of my personal gripes is spelling, particularly the way people spell can't. C-A-R-N-T. I, I, I can't stand that. And what makes me laugh is when people... They tend to use that word and call, when can't and retard seem to go together. But what bugs me about it is the spell retard, R-A-R-I-T-A-R-D, which is sort of dissing themselves, really. And, uh, but anyway, anyway, that, that's just one of my, my grumbles. You've been grumbling on the, uh, I'm, I'm not prepared here as, as usual, I, I need to fire up uh, another page here. We put a post on the page earlier on about what sort of stuff bugs you guys about Altrincham. 
um, if I can find it. Incidentally, before I do, if you want to text or call tonight, you can do on 07 498 345 907. Let us know what bugs you about altering gun. We can, we can take a call off you or we can take a text. We did put a message on the page earlier on tonight and we've only had one message so far on the back of that which I'll read to you. Uh, it's not a very pleasant message I have to say. We, we understand that we're going to take a bit of grief every now and again. Uh, not everybody's going to uh, agree with, with uh, what we do here but I'll read you this message. It says I'll tell you what bugs me about Altrincham. Fair dues. The fact we have two full-blown faggots making a silly page that's got no news at all. Well, we've told you before that we're not all about news. We're, we're news in the sense that not the nine o'clock news was news, if you're old enough to remember that. Constant flirting with each on there, so that's pretty illiterate. For the whole of Facebook to see. Get a room, you pair of finging blasting benders. Now, well, thank you very much for that. Uh, I do notice that you didn't attach a name to that. Um, whether we know who you are or not remains a different issue. But given that you didn't attach your name, the only way I can identify you is by your phone number, which is 0771 494 so uh, if you'd like to tell this guy what you think about that, then knock yourselves out. Anyway, so where were we? Let me find these comments that we put on the page earlier on. We asked you what uh, you'd like to see, what, what things that bug you about Altrincham. And if the Wi-Fi in this place is going to cooperate with me without it freezing, then I'll, uh, I'll be able to read some of them to you. Here we go. They are down here somewhere. Oh, Chris, where are you? Yeah. I'm not prepared at all. Hi, Chris. Mm. Oh, are you there, Chris? I can't, I can't... Mrs. Producer, I can't read any comments at the moment because I'm, uh, I'm looking back at the page, so if you can keep an eye on those comments for me. Uh, Let's have a read some of these and these are the things that bug you guys in Altrincham. Andrea says the daily break-ins and vehicle thefts who will be the unlucky one tonight. Yeah there's been a lot of that around Altrincham recently particularly around the Timpley area and Hale area. Uh, David replied to that the crime rates are no higher than they have ever been just people's perception of crime. Uh, as I reported on social media nowadays, so seem very common. It's nothing's really changed though, and that, that that's true. That, that is true because the more crimes are reported, the more aware you become of them, I suppose. Uh, Sharon, too many coffee shops and not enough interesting variety of shops or clothing shops. Altrincham isn't really somewhere where you can you couldn't do a Christmas shop in Altrincham anymore like you used to be able to certainly when I was a kid which was many years ago far too many than I care to remember um, Amy the price of parking is ridiculous it is isn't it they, they put the price down there for a little while and pretty much filled Altrincham but now the parking has gone back up and there's a shortage of parking spaces especially with Altair going up just up the road here if Chris was here, we'd call it Altier. I'm sure he would. Hi, Chris, by the way. But uh, there we go. Clearly a topic which sets you off in a rage. Yeah, it, it is. People are very touchy about the parking in Altrincham there. <coughs> oh, yeah, painful, <laughs> painful. Uh, Bill, councillors spending our money on useless objects. £16,000 for a monolith opposite the stunning station pub. I don't agree with you there. I quite like the totem monolith. Monolith just sounds big, grey and horrible. Uh, I think it looks quite nice. Unfortunately, it looks quite nice when it's raining because we, we don't want the rain. But in the rain at night when it's lit up. I think that thing uh, looks quite nice. Nicola is moaning about the condition of the roads. Again, there's been a lot of that. We've, we've noticed a lot of that on the page the last few days. 
uh, about the condition of Altrincham roads. Um, I understand Moss Lane and Timple Lane is particularly bad, as is uh, there's another one with really. We, we should be having some sound effects to cover these uh, trams rustling past there, yeah. Mrs. Producer. Uh, Tom, you you want to know why is everyone slagging the town? Tram go past. Why is everybody slagging the town they, they live in? Everything and everyone has their bad points. If you don't like them, then delete them out of your life, surely. Well, you know, life isn't all roses, and it's only by shouting up about these things, like the rubbish at Goose Green a couple of days back, that you, you actually get things done. I mean, you've got groups uh, that we're working with, like Altering Them and Gloom and our Altering Them, and if it wasn't for these people in the groups, and people that actually shout up on your behalf, there's uh, numbers has a lot to be said. The, the, the more voices, then the more you get done. So you, you know, you, you you've got to shout up a little bit and be a bit of a grouch now and again to actually get things done. Johnny says this group bugs him. Like I said with this message before, there's going to be people that uh, don't like what we do. There's going to be people that hate what we do. Certainly, know there's people that hate me. But ha, you know, here I am. But there we go. Lynn says, bugs me when I drive into Altrincham by a Stamford New Road, look up and see a small forest growing on the higher frontage of all the lovely buildings such as the old post office. Seems such a shame to leave these buildings looking derelict after all the money and effort that's been spent returning the town to its former glory. Hashtag love Altrincham. I agree with you there. There's a lot of money being spent in Altrincham. Um, I've been an Altrincham resident for a long, long, long time and I've certainly seen a turnaround. But like I said before, there's not really... You can't do your shopping in Altrincham anymore, which is a shame. You've got your Tesco's, you've got your Sainsbury's. You want to come out for a coffee or a bite to eat, then Altrincham is fine for that. I'm going to come back to a subject about eating in a little while as well. Too many seats in Altrincham Market, really? Well, the hold of that area now, it's become very continental and there's a lot of seating outside around the bars and I think it looks quite nice. What do you think, Mrs. Producer? Nodding ahead furiously behind yeah. the camera there. Uh, nobody is not liking our town. It's the idiots running it. The bloody council wasters. Well, yeah, Trafford do have a little bit of a reputation for dragging the feet. But uh, isn't that the same with every council, really? So a reminder, 07498 345907, if you'd like to comment on anything we're talking about tonight or anything that does bug you about Altrincham. I'm going to leave the comments alone on that one for the time being. Uh, we'll come back, so I'll go back to the live comments on this feed. But I am going to grumble a little bit about my gripes with Altrincham in particular particular people who milk the town. Now, a lot of you will know who I'm talking about and I don't have any problems with actually saying this publicly because it really is a shame that a lot of people, well, one person in particular in this town, I consider it to be a, a little bit of a leech. There are people in this town who run Altrincham feeds who claim to promote Altrincham but we've got Altrincham in Bloom coming up uh, next week. The national judges are coming around to judge the town for the national competition. Do we see these people promoting the Altrincham in Bloom? You, you, you can't miss Altrincham in Bloom. It, it's all over the town centre. Anywhere you stand in the town centre, you just look around and you can see something that's been done by Altrincham and Bloom in our Altrincham. They deserve your support, Altrincham HQ. So I really do think that you should play by the rules that everybody else plays with and join in. Now, this isn't a fight between all the Altrincham feeds. We've been through that earlier this year. Altrincham was a hotbed of Twitter and Facebook pages a little while back. Some of them survived, some of them didn't. Um, I'm sure you know who we're talking about. Um, 
we'll, we'll, we'll leave that there. We are, we're not here to diss people. We, we just would like to see all the Altrincham Beats working together. There's another one out in Altrincham. All working together and actually promote the town. Like you claim to. Please. Altrincham HQ. I'm appealing to you. Come on. Play ball. Join in with everybody else. Help promote the town like you claim to. And everybody can get along and we can all work side by side. It's not as if we're all standing on each other's toes. We're all trying to do something different. We're doing something different to what our friends Altrincham Today do, Altrincham in Bloom, Hailing Altrincham Life, even Altrincham Entertainment, who have now, unfortunately, bad news, they've, they've closed down. We were all trying to do something different. We're not standing on each other's toes. We should be cooperating a bit more because it's our town and we need to work together on it. Uh, I'm trying to catch up with some. Dylan, yes, dude. Were we we talking to me there? Were you agreeing with something that I said? I'm uh, I'm not keeping up to date with the live comments here. Mrs. Producer, can you help me out a little bit here? Where is the studio? Yeah, where's the studio? Are you talking about our studio? That that's uh, it, it's a little bit of a secret. That we're just outside Altrincham Town Centre, but as you can hear, we've got the trams running along the back here. That's something else for me to uh, moan about. Evening Rach, how are you doing? Uh, hi Rita, hi Andy, how are you doing? I'm doing great Rita, thank you Rita for all your support with Altrincham in Bloom. I know you do a lot of work over there on Barrington Green and Shaw's Green, Mrs. Producer is Shaw's Green the one next to the Green Gateway? I've forgotten the names now. I think so, Shaw's Green. Yeah, well, either way, Rita, I, I know you put a lot of uh, a lot of effort in there uh, yeah. yourself. Uh, David, hi, David Trot. David, we need to catch up with you. Can we set up a meet? We, we, we'd like another meet with you. I could do with a chat with you. I'll, I'll contact you about that. Uh, Rach, Stamford Park. You you mentioned that the other day as well. Yeah, uh, there is a group for Stamford Park who I'm sure, Sarah Wormsley, can you uh, give them a bit of a rattle? Uh, I know Sarah wasn't impressed with the group that look after Stamford Park. There was a bit of talk about them looking after themselves before they look after the park. Uh, I've not really any more details about that, but um, maybe that's something that our Altrincham and Altrincham in Bloom can... Uh, pick up and do something with. But yeah, why don't you message our Altrincham, Altrincham and Blooms, so see what they have to say about it. Um, yeah, so Stamford Park, lovely park. I spent a lot of time on there when I used to go to school close by there. An old Bra Bratonian, Bradbronian. I, I don't know what you call it. I used to go to Bradbury School there, which uh, developers were smart enough to knock it down after we left and there's flats there now. Uh, Ali, hi, you joined us. I'm apparently Chris is at work. Is Chris at work tonight? Yeah, I've got that, yeah. Ah, work. I, I, I didn't know Chris was working, so we were expecting we might get a phone call off Chris with his Hi Andy! <laughs> but obviously not. <coughs> so if you would like to call, uh, have a chat. Tell us what you think about Altrincham. It's 07 498 345 907. If you want to send us a little bit of abuse like we got before, that, that's fine by me. I've got these sloping shoulders, you see, it just rolls right off there. Who cares? Who cares? Nando's! You guys have been to Nando's. I went past there the other day and I was quite surprised how quiet it actually was. It wasn't as busy as I was expecting it to be. I think I said on Sunday with Chris, I just don't get why people would want to go in there, buy some perfectly good chicken, and then <coughs> put all this stuff all over it that totally ruins it. What's all that about, guys? Why? Why put yourself through it? What are you doing? Exactly. What are you doing? Mm. Honestly, a chicken is chicken. Mm. Uh, I got told off a little bit on, uh, after Sunday's live about having a pop at KFC down the road here, but... Telling it how it is, and um, personally, I've not had very good experiences with KFC and Altrincham. Uh, Rach, you're a chicken wrecker. 
I know you like your chicken plain, you said that the other day, but uh, you do like some chilli sauce, you see, I remember, I pay attention, I remember, I think it was chilli sauce that you like on your chicken, but why would you do that to yourself, I don't know, it's, it's all a little bit strange to me. 07498345907, would love to hear from you, please join in, give us a call, come on guys. Give us a call and join in. Let Altringham know what uh, what you think about what's uh, what's going on around town. Right, back to the notes. Um, I like to run out of notes. I was relying mostly on your um, on your your comments here. Can't beat smothering it in chilli sauce, right? Really? Oh, chicken! Right, beg your pardon. Yeah, hmm, I'm not saying tomato sauce. Marmite! Oh, now there's a thing. Love it, hates it. Do you love marmite, do you? What, what about you, Mrs. Producer? Do you like your marmite? Yeah, I like marmite. I like my marmite so thick. You can stop trams with it and spread it on the tracks. And it stop them trams in the tracks. Uh, can't beat smothering it in chilli sauce. Yes, um, I've, I've already read that. I'm not catching up with myself, am I? So, yeah. So, whinging about Altrincham. Um, people whinging about us. Well, you may or may not like what we do. We don't claim to be professional. We, we don't claim to be a news organisation. We're, we're just here to have a little bit of fun. And let's see if this one is another abusive message so if i can get this phone working the stream keeps locking itself okay that's the one that we read before i've already read that one okay i'm going to read this straight out if it's abusive it's abusive who cares i always watch your live videos and like both your positivity and passion towards Altrincham. However, I'd like to know why you don't write your own material and only share other Altrincham's articles. Well, we did at the beginning. We did write our own articles, but we're, we're not really about news. We're, we're more about community rather than news in Altrincham. We, we, we take a lot of our news from our friend David on Altrincham today. Um, you can't go wrong with the news on Altrincham today. If Altrincham News is going to recommend the news feed, it would be Altrincham today. Um, we, we just take their news and David's fine with us taking the news. We, we share his news, it drives traffic to his website, so we're, we're helping David out there. We don't claim to be a news channel, although would, would you like to join us? Do you want to do a little bit of digging and do some news reports for us, little news videos? We're always looking for new things to do on Altrincham News and our sister channel, That's Altrincham, which we, we keep playing around with every now and again, but every time we start firing That's Altrincham up again, something else seems to come up that distracts us and, and we get too busy. That's Altrincham is intended to be an entertainment channel Ideally, what we're looking for there is, can you sing, can you act, can you put a little sketch together for us, videos. If you'd like to have a go at that, you can contact us here uh, on Altrincham News or via the That's Altrincham Facebook or Twitter feed. Uh, give it a go. You know, you never know, you never know who's watching, you never know what it might do for your career. Certainly done nothing for mine, but there you go. <coughs> I'm sat here in this... Half built studio, still haven't got the, uh, Chris, when you catch up with this, we still haven't got the, uh, mm. the, the, the ceiling in there, we've got three quarters of the ceiling, but the rest of it, I've seen it, it's out there down the corridor ready to go in, so mm. I'm assuming that that'll be in sometime this week. But no, we're, we're not just about news, we're here to have a good time, we, we hope that we entertain you, I know we don't entertain everybody, but... You can't please all of the people all of the time, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me, but if you'd like to have a go, 
for that soul stringium or old stringium news, please get in touch with us. What, what would you like us to do? What, what, what would you like to see seals do? We we do a lot with our old stringium and old stringium and bloom. Um, we're taking part in the judging, which is correct me if I'm wrong, Mrs. Producer. Is it Thursday this week? Thursday. Thursday, the 3rd of August, the national judges are coming down from Britain in Blue, and it's the first time that Altringham has been nominated for the national award. So, you know, there you go, something positive about your town. Um, people were knocking us about that post we put up, saying about us being negative and asking for negative comments. You've got to take the negative with the positive. You know, it, it, you, you can't pretend that everything's positive when it's not. So, Ultra Gilly Bloom, if you want to help out with that, the day before, on the 2nd, uh, there's going to be a litter pick where our Ultra Gilly and Ultra Gilly Bloom are looking for volunteers to help around the town centre on the Wednesday evening. Just a general litter pick, it, it all makes a difference to the judges. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. You'd think the judges are coming around just to look at all the, the planters in the town centre. They're going to be visiting... Um, well, you, you've seen all the areas yourself. There is Shaw's Green. There's the Altrincham Gateway where the clock carving is. Um, the living wall, that's coming on nicely, along by the bus station there, uh, there's a mural being developed along there, and hopefully that will be finished before the judges arrive, but well, that's cutting it a bit short, that's going to be, uh, hopefully, painted. And mind you, this is producer, you might know something about that, do, do you know whether that mural, because you've been the arty person, do you know whether... That's uh, planning on being finished by it next week. It should be a bit quick enough for just get simple paint and make it yeah. not too detailed. We, I see it's already been uh, sketched out on there, just waiting for it to be to be painted. But it's coming on nicely down there. Um, all voluntary stuff again by Ultra New and Bloom. Please give them your support. Always looking for volunteers, whether it's green fingers, whether it's litter picking. You can contact uh, Sarah Warmsley at our Ultra New and Bloom. They're on Twitter, they're on Facebook. Just join in, help out, especially for this litter pick that's taking place next Wednesday evening. I'm sure Sarah would be more than grateful for your help. Uh, hi Donna, who's just joined us. Um, Donna, I lived on your street, didn't I? I say live on your street. Uh, I'm not there anymore, but that's a completely different story. Uh, more messages, but no calls. Guys, come on, give us a call. Somebody call and say hello. Join in a little bit. Uh, I need to take the lock off this phone. Okay, so... This is a, re a reply to the person who texted us before, the positive one, not the abusive one. Good response, wasn't having a dig, was genuinely just intrigued. Good on you both for doing what you enjoy, regardless of negative comments. So thank you for your support there, we appreciate that. Now, we know that we're going to get a few bad comments. We know that people are going to take the piss out of us. But hey, you know, that's life. It, it happens. We're... We're doing this because we enjoy it. Um, we feel that we're putting something into Altrincham. We're, we're, we're doing something here with these videos that, it's like I was saying before, that we're not treading on anybody's feet. We're not treading on Altrincham today's feet because we're not providing our own news. If anything, we're helping them because we're driving traffic to their site. We don't have a problem with using Altrincham today's news. We're, we're sharing. We're all one community here in Altrincham. And that's the way it should be. I will repeat though, there is a feed local to where we are now, just down the road there. There's been a lot of bad feeling about this guy for a long time, myself included. I'll hold my hands up on my personal Twitter feed. I do have a go at him. And the guy has a go at me back. Not openly, we do it sort of under the radar. <laughs> Unless you know exactly what's going on you wouldn't pick it up from the twitter feeds but 
I think it's about time that it stopped. I'm not saying that I'd ever get on with this guy properly. Last time we came face to face, well, last time we came face to face, we sort of ignored each other. The time before that that we came face to face was last year's Old Fringham Festival. And there was actually a little bit of pushing and shoving that went on. But there's no need for that. Let's put it aside. Guy, you're supposed to be about Old Fringham. You're not about tweeting to eat. You're not about getting what you can out of Old Fringham. It's not all about whether you're filling your pocket, whether you're getting paid. It's not all about whether you're filling your belly. It's about Old Fringham, right? I challenge you, and you know who I'm talking about, I challenge you to get off your arse and instead of talking about it, do it. Old Fringham in Bloom. Let's see you sharing some of their stuff. Let's see you promoting Old Fringham in Bloom and the judging. Let's see you retweeting our Old Fringham and the brilliant work that they do. Because it's for you as well, Guy, and you know who I'm talking about. So... Please bear it in mind, and I'll leave that one there for now. If you're interested in uh, the sort of digging that goes on between these feeds, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'll give yourself a plug. I'm at Andrew DK. I tend to tell it how it is on there, so uh, if you're easily offended, I wouldn't bother. But, yeah, if you want to. 07498 345 907. Uh, Mrs. Producer, I'm not keeping up with these comments so well There's here. So, not many. Just okay, can you keep an eye on those comments for me? And yeah. I'll go back to this post that uh, we put up on the page a little earlier tonight. <coughs> we really need to deal with these trams and read some more of these out that uh, people were complaining about altering them. Uh, potholes again. Um, why is it that Traffic Council has spent a load on Stamford New Road planting greenery, but across the fo footbridge, Oakfield Road, Clarendon Avenue, they've planted shrubs and abandoned them now. It's just an overgrown mess full of rubbish. Pull your finger from your arse, Traffic Councillors. Um, I suspect you might be talking about... Are you talking about the area near Sainsbury's? I believe it's called Lloyd Banks. Uh, the grassy area there, on the other side of the bridge from Tesco, I beg your pardon, at the back of Sainsbury's, that's actually a wildlife reservation. Uh, there's a little bit there that's going to be a wildlife reservation. Uh, we had a little bit of a problem with that old thing in Bloom did. Amy, in their infinite wisdom, were, were told to leave that area alone for it to be overgrown so Altering and Bloom could do something with it. And as I say, Amy in their infinite wisdom <laughs> mowed the whole lot, or perhaps it was Trafford, mowed the whole lot and totally ruined all the work that Altering and Bloom put into it. But uh, they, they live to fight another day, so that's what's going on over there at, uh, over the bridge from Tesco's. Uh, Stephanie, the dirty streets. Full of vomits and broken glass, it's a nightmare to take our dogs for walks. I wasn't particularly aware of that. I wouldn't say that I've noticed in the town centre that there's been a lot of uh, rubbish lying around. If you see the rubbish, pick it up, please, because these judges are coming on Wednesday. Just pick it up, drop it in the bin for us to help hold him in bloom. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I did notice a few weeks back on Twitter... There were quite a few people in Altringham who were commenting on the amount of drunks at night. There does seem to be an increase in idiots around Altringham at night. But I think that's simply down to the fact that we have so many new bars opening. And, you know, the more bars that we open, then the more people we're going to bring into the town, which is good. But unfortunately, we're, we're going to bring the idiots and all. But... Uh, Altrincham's a nice town, there's more good people than bad people, so good will always prevail, I hope. Um, I'll read this one from David. Uh, People's constant negativity on everything. This post just highlights it. Oh, the council are wasting money on ABC, at least they're investing in the town centre, etc. 
Everything will never be to everyone's taste, but at least they're trying, I agree. Altrincham is looking good and starting to bloom again like the 90s. Uh, the cost is always the bottom line, just concrete over everything, that's cheap and hard wearing, but it's, but God, it's horrible, it is. And again, this goes back to Altrincham in bloom. Altrincham and bloom are trying the hardest to make your town look the way it does you can't help but notice when you're walking down down george street there all the planters we sponsor a planter ourselves and all these people who sponsor the planters they, they look after them in their own town in their own time they're helping to make your town look nice and um, it is your town so join in help them out guys please I've not really done a lot of the whinging that I said I would uh, tonight. I'll whinge about them trams though! Shut up! <laughs> Honestly, you are trams. Right, how are we doing on the comments here? Um, There's not many. Not much has happened since I last looked. Um, <coughs> actually pretty quiet. So, yeah. I'll just waffle a little bit more. We've been going a lot longer than we did last week. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these Wednesdays. We're, we're going to keep these Wednesdays up. Last Wednesday, I was talking a little bit about uh, mental health, which is a big, big problem. I've struggled myself recently with depression and things like that. I told you a little bit about my story last week. There is much more that I will tell you because I don't have a problem with opening up a little bit to maybe inspire some other people. Uh, I said last week that the most important thing is talk, tell people what your problem is, because if people don't know, then people can't help, and it's good to talk. So, what would you like to see us do with these Wednesdays? I, I'd like these Wednesdays to be a little bit fun, a little bit different to what I do with Chris on a Sunday. Our Sundays with Chris, uh, that is something that's going to be news. We will be trying to do a little bit more news on the Sundays. A um, little bit light-hearted. We, we, we keep getting told how people like the banter between me and Chris. Never mind that message we got before. Um, Chris has his taste in uh, partners. I have my taste in partners. They're totally different. It, it's just the way we come across and if you don't like it then but Chris isn't my type at all. Uh Daryl, you're getting bored are you? Mm. Yeah I know it's a bit all over the place tonight because I'm just finding my feet and finding out what I want to do with these Wednesdays. If you don't like it Chris would say Yeah as, as Chris would say you know where the un unlike button is <laughs> you know don't watch personally I don't like Hollyoaks so do you know what? I don't watch it! Hey! Quite simple. Um, yeah. Massive viewing ratings. Yeah, well, okay, so... No, there's not many... Yeah, alright, no, you're right. Not many viewers at the moment, but if you check back on the page, you'll actually see how popular they are. We, uh, we do pretty well, thank you very much, uh, Daryl. So, if you'd like to go on watch something else then. See you later! 07498345907 It doesn't look like we're going to get a call tonight but if you'd like to message the page and tell us what you'd like to see happen with these Wednesdays maybe we can come out and see you. That's something that possibly we could do. Tell us. Tell us what you'd like to see happen. Uh, there isn't an unlike button, pal. Well, I'm just telling you, that's what Chris says. I, I know there isn't, but it's quite simple. You're sat there watching it, listening to what I'm saying. Do one if you don't like it. Like I say, I don't like Hollyoaks, so I don't watch it. Huh? Huh? What can I say? Uh, <coughs> yeah. Right, so we're coming up 20 to 9 now. Uh, I do appreciate that this has been a bit all over the place tonight i'm finding the feet not sure what to do with these wednesdays i've had a little bit of a moan i will say two more things again altering your mates cute i'm naming you and i'm challenging you please 
Elfin Mates Kid. Be a little bit more supportive of the other groups around Elfingham. I'm not here to call you. I'm inclined to back off what I say on my personal Twitter and all. Because this is all about Oldfingham and it just doesn't do the town any good. Please support us a little bit more. Support your town a little bit more. There's a lot of people who watch what you do and they're a little bit <sighs> about it. And it shouldn't be like that. We should all be working together. So I'm holding out an olive branch to you here on behalf of a lot of Oldfingham thieves. Engage with them a little bit more. Join in. Um, help promote the town properly um, it'll make the town a much nicer place for everybody else Daniel hi you're joining us just as I'm pretty much about to leave you we were here at 8 o'clock where were you and saw this soundproofing out there's trams and, and I noticed the plastics here for the ceiling down there Daniel here <laughs> that would be good <coughs> So yeah, I think we're going to finish now, we're coming up 45 minutes. I'm sorry if I've been a little bit all over the place, but you know, I don't claim to be a professional. Like I say, just finding my feet. I will say again though, before I leave, that um, the judging for Altingham in Bloom is taking place next Thursday. If you want to help out, do your little bit for Altingham. You can take part in the litter pick that's uh, going to be happening the night before on the 2nd of August. Uh, you will need to register to take, the, to take part in that. Register before you. You can't just turn up unfortunately. But you can register via our Altrincham or Altrincham and Bloom. They're on Twitter, they're on Facebook. You can email Sarah W at ouraltrincham.org. I would give you the email address for Altrincham and Bloom but it escapes me at the moment. Uh, Mrs. Producer should uh, <laughs> I'll be on the ball there for me, but neither of us are prepared tonight. It's pretty much off the wall uh, tonight. Uh, sorry, we lost track of time, Sharon. Well, you're here, at least. You know, I'll, I'll mark you down as uh, here, so you've just about got away with that one. But... I think we're done for the evening now. It's been 45 minutes, which is double what we did last week. I've waffled like mad. I've probably bored you to death and not made any sense whatsoever. But <laughs> I'll be doing it again. So I will be back with Chris on Sunday. Maybe a little bit more coherent, but on the other hand, who knows. Next Wednesday, I will... I will speak a little bit more next Wednesday about what I was talking about next Wednesday. So I can do without people taking the piss and the uh, nasty comments that we received before we came on air tonight. Uh, mm, because it's a serious subject. So guys, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you for joining me. Join us again on Sunday, 8 o'clock with Chris. You can catch Chris doing a walk around tomorrow evening. Chris will be here doing a walk around. He may be in the studio if it's raining because he's a bit marred like that. But you can certainly catch Chris tomorrow. And I'll be back again with you next Wednesday. So I'm going to leave you now, guys. I'd just like to say thank you to Joe, my producer tonight. Yeah! Oh, thank you, Joe. <laughs> Fantastic job. Couldn't manage without her. And I'll be back with you guys same time next week. So until then, take care. See you soon.